In the previous lecture, we saw how to install Composer. In this one, we'll be configuring it and then making use of a package to validate our form. Let's go ahead and click on this extension button. Here you can see we have already installed Composer, but we need to ensure that we have configured it properly. So here we have Composer.enabled and Composer.executable path. For Windows, you need to have this line copy and paste it in your settings.json file, which you can access from file, preferences, settings, and then going to workspace settings. Under extensions, you can select composer dependency and make sure that this enabled checkbox is checked. Here you can click on settings.json and you will have to specify this composer.executable path and this line that was presented in the introduction of the composer page, like over here, this line. So we have done that now by going to files preferences settings and under settings we have composer dependency and then clicking on the working part so once that's done all you need to do is open up terminal here you can say a new terminal and once you are inside this project directory all you need to do is type composer search validation and this will give you matching list of validation libraries that are available. There you go. We have like Gulis email validator, respect validation and net utils and some other as well. This one a respect validation, the most awesome validation engine ever created for PHP. This one covers a lot of validation types. So we'll be going with this one in order to have it in our project. All you need to do is write composer require and then name of the package respect slash validation now here once we have typed that command you can see the installation process it goes and loads the composer repositories with package information then updates the dependencies and here it just shows it in verbose mode and once everything is created you'll see that you're back at your command prompt and here in the files directory you'll notice this directory has been created vendor and then we have composer.json. Let's first of all take a look at composer.json file. So here it gives you the dependencies that your application is having. This one requires respect validation and here you'll notice the version number. So this semantic versioning mentions that we're cool with the version if it's not changing to version 2.0. So anything of version 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3 is fine with us but if there is a major update to this library like version 2.0 then obviously we'll have to change this to 2.0 so that was composer.json now you'll notice this vendor directory and here we have this autoload.php file inside composer you will notice this respect and then under that we have validation so this vendor directory contains the autoload.php file and what we will do is We'll make use of that autoload PHP file in our app.php. So here we'll simply say require, then the directory extension, and here the path vendor autoload.php. So here we have the updated path now. Now that we have loaded the require validation, now we'll make use of this keyword use respect validation validator. So basically this allows us to create an instance of the validator class in this way. Let's say new validator. And once we have the validator in place, the object has been created, we can make use of that to validate a particular email ID. For instance, over here, when we are saying empty user email, let's go ahead and check it over here if then we have dollar v and here we'll say email and we'll simply validate that email so the email is inside user email variable and if this is true then we'll have this information printed so now let's save this and run our application. So we have the form over here. Let's fill in some information like admin at 
and then bio click on submit now and you can see it is printing all the information so if the email was not valid this information was not printed let's try it one more time so now we have filled in the information with incorrect email ID let's click on submit now and there you go you can see that the data which was posted is not printed over here as it was doing earlier the reason why because this validation that we have in place in our app.php file is ensuring that the valid email ID should be there so I've kept it back to email and required and uh, in this one we saw how we can make use of composer packages and include them in our project auto load them and make use of them to do various things for instance over here we validated our email field using the request validation library